<laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Have you tanned it? No. Nope. I have now. Hello. Sorry about that. Welcome to the Hoof GP live today in the Scottish sunshine, and it is gorgeous today. Now, we're actually going to trim four beef cows right now. Probably only two live because it will take a little while and we need to crack on and get home. This stick is for my safety. I am not going to use it. I'm going to use it to guide the cows. I've got it in my hand as an extension of my hand. So if I need to move them around one way, then I will, but I will not the cows with this stick. So just be aware of that. These cows do have cars with them, so they might be a little flighty and this might have been a bad idea, but let's give it a crack anyway. Right, let's go. How are we all, by the way? Ready for the merch launch? Is the wind noise absolutely terrible? Craig, let me know if you can tell me. I'll look out for the comments. Just wait there. So as you'll see, this is not the most modern farm in the world, but it is a nice little farm and I love the guy who, who works here and who owns it. He's actually a friend, so we're all good. Right, we've got her in there crushed, now let's get her in ours. Normally I would edit that part out, you see. This time, we can't. That happens a lot, by the way. <laughs> Do people laugh at that? Um, not yet. Yeah, you're getting a few laughs. <laughs> this is class. Right, come on. I'm cameraman, I can't get blamed for that. Come on. 
Can we all have a round of applause for the hoof sheepy getting a cow in the crush successfully? That was bad. How many people saw that happen, Craig? Uh, 799. Oh well. At least it wasn't a thousand. Okay, so here we have a twisted claw. This cow's in a bit of pain because she has an ulcer at the back. Overgrowth because of this pain. It's kind of a, a cycle. There's overgrowth, so there's an ulcer. Because there's an ulcer, there's even more overgrowth. So we're going to trim this back and stick a block on there. Sound or not? Yeah, it sounds back, I said. We are way out in the sticks here in South West Scotland right now. So internet reception is not the best. So this cow has an ulcer right here if you come in, Craig, so that you can see. She has an ulcer here, but this claw is good, but this is oversized and bulbous. So we're going to stick this block on here to get the weight away from this area. So as you've just seen, things do not always go perfectly. And that's part of the reason we like our jobs. Variety is the spice of life. It's not really. Ice cream is, but variety is good too. So we'll stick this block on here and then we'll go and trim the front two feet just while this is drying and then we'll put those other two cows back in. Yep. How many likes have we got so far, Craig? 247. There's seven or eight hundred of you watching and there's only 247 likes. 263 now. So me and Craig, Craig and I, have already been to two larger farms today and we've trimmed, how many have we trimmed? 20, 40, nearly 50 cows. And this is just one that we're stopping off at on the way home quickly trim up these three beef cows, well there's four actually, these four beef cows, and then get home for some barbecue. <laughs> Right, throw some questions our way. Craig will endeavour to read them out. If you can hear me over the noise of these cows. They're noisy right now because I've just split them up from their calves, but I'm about to put them back in so that we can trim them. Then they'll go quieter 
and then get noisy again when we split them up again. That's that. We've done it. It's perfect. Any questions, Craig? Not yet. Can Craig read? Yes, I can read. Just your <laughs> your messages come up that fast that it makes it harder to read, though. <laughs> Who said can Craig read? That's harsh. Yeah, I know. But Funny though. Um, one person asked what time it is here. It is approximately two p.m. Maybe half. No, about half, half one. Half past one. Like. Yeah. Does the fire hurt them? Not in the slightest. So I have a glove on. It doesn't hurt me. And they've got a thicker hoof than my glove. I actually, in one of videos from about a year and a half ago, I got an old cow's hoof, so an empty one from a deceased cow, put my finger inside that cow's hoof and held this, which goes up to 3000 degrees C, on it for about three or four minutes and I couldn't even feel the heat. So no way does it hurt the cow. How bad is the abscess? It's not that bad. Do you want to have a look? So I've actually just covered it in green gunk. This green gunk is copper sulfate and a zinc chelate or chelate in a gel so that's to make sure that any dermatitis doesn't start to materialize you guys don't see us use that that often because we don't use it that much but that's not that bad she's had a problem for a little while that's why this is bulbous but this will let her walk really easily yes i am better at getting the cows in than graham <laughs> that's very true we'll get them back in uh, why do you wrap your grinders to stop them from getting too dirty as you can imagine, there's a huge amount of dust on farms and the dust wrecks the grinders. Plus we need to be as clean as possible and we can't wash the grinders every day, so we wrap them instead. We do, we do still clean them, but wrapping them prevents more muck in them. This food's not too bad at all, but it does need a little bit of a balance. Craig, zoom in. Okay, so this is not a beauty contest. We are not trying to perfect these feet. We're trying to get them as comfortable as possible. And that means that we are gonna leave some of these cracks on this cow's foot because they're not doing any harm. And she's looking after them. These cows are so noisy. And she's looking after them so well herself. That's not a problem. It does look like it's a problem from your guys' view, but we know it's not. Right, let's get these cows back in and get their feet trimmed. What's the worst accident you've had during tr uh, trimming? The worst accident? Yes. One that immediately springs to mind, and Craig's probably sick of hearing me talk about is I burst a vein in this arm because a cow kicked me. Um, that was horrendously sore. My whole arm went black within about 15 seconds, and the pressure from throbbing was just absolutely unbelievable. It really was. Um, but yeah, I've been kicked in the face a few times. Kicked where a gentleman doesn't want to be kicked. Yeah, those things have happened a lot. Right, let's get these cows back in. Answer some questions right now while I reset the crush. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, we do allocate ourselves holidays. 
hopefully there'll be a holiday in the next month or so. Mm. Uh, it is hard because we have to book time with the farmers as well and let them know in advance mm. when we're going on holiday mm -hmm. and how long for. I'm going to Mallorca and he's going to Kos in Greece. Hopefully. Yep. Do you know how hard it is to focus on this camera and watch out for safety at the same time? All we do is stay safe as much as humanly possible. Well, I never actually thought about getting into trimming ever in my life. Never knew it was even a thing until I started working for Graham. But I love it. have something a little more extreme here guys. Now before I lift this foot I'm going to explain. So these cows live a very very natural lifestyle out on the open hills all the time. They are never inside apart from if they're being worked with. So this is a product of nature. This is not something that man has created or whatever. This is overgrowth created from living on soft ground and we're here to make sure these cows are much more comfortable. If the farmer didn't care about these cows then we wouldn't be doing this at all, would we? So just a word of caution. She's not actually lame or anything like that. She's just got very overgrown feet. Here we go. Come in here, Greg. So if you look here, this is exactly what I was talking about. So this cow lives on very, very soft ground. She lives in beautiful green pastures with her calf, as you've just seen. And because of that, these feet aren't wearing at all in this, in this case. So before she does come into a painful sort of um, disposition, we need to make sure we shorten this down and get all of the weight even between the two claws. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Right, who is ready for the merch launch? I said about this earlier on Instagram and Facebook, I'm nervous. I don't really do the whole selling stuff. I know I put some sponsorships in videos and things like that. But actually selling merch is like, Ugh. so you guys asked for it and that's why it's here. But you still get nervous. We've got some awesome stuff, ACAP stuff. If you haven't seen any of that, you should follow me on Instagram and Facebook. But it is like the creme de la creme. I'll show you in a minute actually. I've got a hoodie in the pickup. Right, let's get this looking better. We've leveled up this outer claw and it looks sexy. We haven't made it all white. That would look nice, but it would be unfunctional, dysfunctional, not good. Now let's level this one up and shorten this long toe.
Now we're starting to get there, but there's a crack right around the front part of her foot. And if Craig whips around behind me here, we'll get a better look at it. So this cow has had laminitis and you can see it all cracking away there. That will be uncomfortable for her because dirt and debris is getting down in behind that crack right there. So we're gonna whip that off so that it's not causing any unnecessary discomfort. And then we'll tidy up the bottom and she'll be good to go once I've trimmed the other three feet. Right, budgie budgie Craig. Can you get it? Okay, so you can see there's a little black spot still here. Can you see that, Craig? Yeah. That little black spot will not be going anywhere. And just for you guys, scratch it out just so you can see. But we don't actually need to do any more to that. It was the loose and cracking horn that was behind this, or sorry, in front of this, mm -hmm. catching the debris that would be causing mm -hmm. any discomfort. As you can see, Craig nips around this side now, please, Craig. You can see how much better that foot looks already. It's a little bit high here, so I'm going to get the grinder and I'm going to take a little bit off it. And then, she'll be good to go. Look at that! Anybody who's just joined, this cow only had one claw a second ago, and I'm that good a trimmer. We've actually made it look like she has two now, and she's perfect. Isn't that right, Craig? Craig? Yeah, 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 yeah it's no, good. Yeah, right. yes. So we'll just reduce the height here a little. This crack is superficial, and that is that foot finished. Next! We can actually lift all four feet in this crush if we want. Look, easy peasy, lemon squeezy! <laughs> this one's a little bit long too, but not to the extent of this one. We will, however, drop that, hang that up, put the nozzle in between our feet, and get her rebalanced. How many people have we got now? We have 1,134. How many likes? 890. Oh, come on guys, just need like another 200 and that's all of you. Right, we're going to level this up, shorten it and make sure the balance is level between the two. It should be good to go as well. Beautiful! Craig is away for a dirty weekend with my little sister this weekend. His wife, what's that all about? We need some time away. We haven't had any time in about a year, just me and my wife. Looking forward to it. I can't imagine anything worse than going away with my little sister and Craig. No, oh, <laughs> you just wouldn't want to be in the room next door, that's ah, all. La, 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 la. Not listening, not listening. Next foot. Oh, this weather 
can stay, can't it, Craig? Oh, it's lovely. Absolute lush. In general, these cows take good care of their feet, so we don't want to interfere with that too much. So that last foot didn't look like I did very much, and that's pretty much because I didn't do very much. But we don't need to. She's looking after it well. We just need to make sure that nothing starts to go awry. Awry is a good word, isn't it? Quite impressed with that wordage. And this foot is exactly the same as that other one. It's dirty, there's no point in cleaning it because she's about to stand on dirty ground, but it is very slightly long, a bit uneven, so we'll fix that when she's in. Again, there's no problems here. Put it down. Don't interfere with what is already good. Right, let's let her out and get the next one. Wait, do you guys want me to do another one for the camera or should we just crack on and get it done? I do have a cup of tea sitting waiting. We'll let this one out, grab the cup of tea, and then I'll chat with you, show you the new merch, the new merch are awesome, and then do the other two. Then. Right, shoot me some questions right now and I'll let Craig get a cup of tea. Look how beautiful this place is. It's absolutely great, isn't it? I've just seen a couple of people saying bad quality of camera. It's actually a great quality of camera. It's a bad quality of internet, however. Right, questions. Quick complaining. <laughs> How often should a cow's hoof be trimmed? About three times a year if it's a dairy cow living inside. If it's a beef cow, check it once, once a year. Shout out for me, Dora. There you go, just gave you one. Why it not? Why tea in summer? Because tea is it's good, it's good for the soul. Worse than the videos. I'm watching from Australia. Hello in Australia. How's Craig doing? How's Craig doing? Awesome. Awesome apparently. Sorry for the cows in the background. Hello in Wyoming. Hello, uh, you never mentioned me. I, like, I'll just mention you, I have to scroll back up. JMC, there you go. JMC, I've just mentioned you right now. Buy them some Tesla sat internet. That'd probably be pretty good. Your cow alarm is going off. I need a cow alarm, don't I? Why well, no long sleeve t-shirts? That's a good point, actually. Um, I'll get some. I'll get some, I'll get some. I've got one on right now, but it's not mine, it's uh, someone else. Oh, a thousand likes, you're right, over a thousand likes. Somebody's given us some um, super chats there. I'm really sorry, guys, I've not been looking at the screen. I've been trimming, so sorry if you gave me a super chat and I didn't mention it. Uh, what do you love most about trimming? I love the variety and getting cows back to full health. Take a cow that's extremely sore and painful. And she's not painful just while we see her, she's painful the whole time. She's awake, asleep, everything, 24 hours a day. So when we take one from being like that, back to full health, that's my favorite. What's the smallest type of uh, cow somebody just asked? Is it a Jersey? No, it's a Dexter. Dexters are the smallest. Do cows ever have to be put down because their feet are beyond repair? Yes, unfortunately they do, which is really sad. It hardly ever happens now, but yeah. Where are you best, where are you friends before Craig got with your sister? No, definitely not. Craig's not the type of person that I would associate with normally. Hey! <laughs> yeah, I've just looked round and Craig is uh, putting on the merch. <laughs> he must be wanting to model it or steal it. One of the two. Steal it, probably. 
How's Cow 89? She's miles better actually. Um, we'll be back seeing her next, a week on Tuesday. So she's doing really, really well. Um, what time is it in Scotland? It is about two o'clock. Do you want to see Craig's merch? Craig, come over here because the wind noise is terrible over there. Look, stand here, look at this, look. Right, best merch ever, right? That's back to front uh, because of the screen. But that says ACAP, the Hoof GP. And look, oh, and then it says it right up the back. It says as comfortable as possible. Free guns with the t-shirt, by the way, or the, the hoodie. Look at that hat, show them your hat. How awesome is that? This, I literally can't stop wearing it and I keep giving it to people so there'll be like none left for you lot. How often do you get kicked? Not often enough, a lot of people would say. Not very much. What is that purple drink? Purple? Purple? Don't know. Don't have a purple drink, sorry. Uh, I would go for a tartan cap, would you? That is a good shout, who said that? Susie, a tartan cap, that is an awesome. What's a cap? Hashtag a cap is as comfortable as possible. Because somebody kept saying, all you say is as comfortable as possible. I was like, that's probably true. Okay, I'm gonna finish this tea very quickly and then get on with some more work. My shed is nearly finished. Will you be going back down to Tom Pemberton soon? Um, actually, me and Tom have been talking quite a lot lately and yeah, he wants to learn a bit more about hoof trimming, so definitely. Um, we should have went down last weekend, but obviously he's busy, he's getting married, he's at his friends' um, weddings. So yeah, we will be doing more with Tom soon. Uh, I do speak to him loads. Um, hi Andy, you alright? Hi Darlene. Uh, hi Tina Wells, DNF, Finn. Are you trimming for free? Uh, probably will trim for free here actually, yes. Mm, well, maybe. Uh, do you like cars? If so, yes. <laughs> do I like cars? Craig, do I like cars? You love cars. Yes, I love cars. I absolutely love cars. Um, I'm thinking about ordering a new pickup just now, actually. Right, top chat request waiting. What's a top chat request? I'm not sure what that is. Um, right, can you trim, can you film Craig doing some hoof trimming? Oh, can you trim a, a hoof? Can you film Craig doing some hoof trimming a hoof? and see if he can trim a hoof that is infected. Craig can definitely trim very, very well. Um, there's, no here today, though, so, so, there's none here today that have infections, so I'll just crack on. Craig, naked trimming. <laughs> That's not good. Right, I've finished my tea, so we're gonna get back to trimming. We've just got two more left to do, then we'll separate the cows and the calves. No, we'll put them back together. Put them out to the field, and you guys can watch that too. How can I become a hoof trimmer, says Gary? Do my online course, then go and do a practical one, then join the army. Right! Craig, you're, look at that, look at Craig's tattoos, they're cool aren't they? He's got them all up his sleeve and he's just about to have them all over his side. Or, had my or wife's his, name on my chest. wife's name on his chest. Um, I am absolutely, my back is completely covered in tattoos but obviously you can't see that. Right, here we go. Here you go Craig. We're back. If you've just joined, I did explain at the start, I use a stick. The stick is not for hitting the cows, the stick is a way to steer the cows. It's an extension of my arm. You will not see me hitting the cows.
here is another cow with a very overgrown foot, and that's because she has a sand crack. If you guys don't watch the channel that often, a sand crack cracks right up the front or dorsal wall of a cow's foot, and it makes her foot curly. Kind of like when you get a bit of paper and a pencil or a pen, and you hold them together and pull, well the paper goes curly. And that is because of the constraint that you're putting on it by pulling the pencil along. These sand cracks have the same effect. Here, Craig, we shall analyze this foot. As you can see, if Craig comes down, this is a very overgrown foot. It's gnarly, it's twisted, but she's not in pain. She's uncomfortable, there is no doubt about that. I'm not saying she's not uncomfortable. Just go up a little bit. So, we're gonna separate these two claws. And if you come down to show them how much it curls up, this is because of the sand crack which runs right down here. It's scooping up, it's not being worn, and it's actually growing a little bit quicker than normal. Right, let's fix it. Vibrations. The motion in the ocean is making my nozzle fall out. That sounds bad. Okay, so I wouldn't normally trim around the front of the foot like that, but because she has a sand crack, that's not normal. It's so noisy here. Look at this though. It's like a big tongue. So we're going to remove all of this loose horn and tidy up the front. Come in a bit closer, please. Does anybody want this? Send me your address and I'll post it to you. It's like a flip-flop. Any questions, Greg? Is that shedding horn? Yes, partly. This little, this white substance in here and here is shedding horn. This is extremely hard hoof horn because these cows are outside all the time. We've got pretty dry weather right now here in Scotland, which dries out the hoof and makes it really hard. Now, if you come down, Craig, you can look up here. But what about the sun? There is cracking all the way up the front of our foot. So what we'll do is Craig will switch sides and I will remove this crack.
better. Okay, come back up. We're not very level though, so we're going to do that. We're going to reduce the height down here to get more of the weight onto this good claw and try to stop that cracking coming back. Then we'll remove all of this loose horn and tissue around this little problem here. And that should be our finish. Should be. Come on in. Now you can hear the cow there in the background grumbling a bit. It's not because she's in pain, it's because she doesn't want to be in the crush. And her baby is behind her. She wants to be back with her calf as soon as possible. Quick. Live TV folks. Alright. Cow just jumped the gate. She obviously knows that she is the only one not to do it. I'm assuming she's actually jumped in from where she shouldn't be because her feet are absolutely perfect. Go show them, Craig, how nice her feet are. She'll stay still long enough. She is walking a little bit limpy, but that's only because she just jumped that fence. But her feet do look good. Hello. Again, this is a foot that has a sand crack on the front, so we're doing it in parts, stages. We've got these fairly level, we've got all of that loose horn from the sole almost removed. Now we're going to model it out and then deal with the problem. Come in. So why? everybody not at work right now guys we are here working away in the hot scottish sunshine and you're all sitting at home playing on your phones and your computers and your laptops why is that tell me here's a question that keeps popping up yep what's your favorite bovine um favorite 
it's probably a Charlie. You don't see me come in many of these. The Charlie's a big white bull. It's actually a French breed. But there's a lot of them here as well. And it's my favourite because when I was a child, where we grew up on the farm before my dad died, we had Charlie's, pedigree Charlie's, so really well bred thoroughbred Charlie's and I had a couple of pet ones so it kind of always stayed with me so there you go Charlie cows you come round the other side you'll see that she also has a sand crack right right round there back up here. Look at the difference. So, I'm often asked why I love this job. Look what that foot looks like now compared to what, a minute and a half ago, two minutes ago? It looks awesome. <laughs> I'm, not saying, I'm not saying I'm awesome. I'm saying the difference you can make in an animal's foot and her comfort and therefore her happiness within a couple of minutes just by trimming her feet is awesome. Right, anyway. She'll be even happier when she gets back to her calf. So let's turn her front feet and then. people what they were doing with their, their day, why they're at home. Some are doing dishes, some are just having their breakfast, and some are saying it's too late to work, be at work. Ah. Time it, difference. Isn't it cool how many communities from all over the world come together on the Hoof GP? Say hello to everybody, by the way. Don't just say hello to me. Say hello to everybody else. She had a tiny little stone in there that's totally inconsequential. Apart from that, she's fine. tiny trim up. That's all she needs. These are the hardest cows to trim when the farmer stood next to you because it looks like you're doing nothing but you need to have the confidence to say I don't need to do anything to this foot other than give it a little polish up. The best thing is to leave it alone. let these cows get back to their calves. Here cubbies, come on. Ooh. Oh, cause she jumped the gate, it's stuck. <laughs> come on cubbies. <laughs> They'll be happy to get back with their mothers. Come on, come on, 
Great content, 10 out of 10 would watch again. Thanks, Michael, that was good. Thanks very much, LJ. Thank you, Stephanie. And he'll call you Stephen from Nottingham. Morning from Toledo, Ohio. Oh, you should give him a pat. I would, but they're too far away. Come here, come here. See? Nah, I don't think they want pie. Morning from Arkansas. Thanks for doing the live. You are very, very welcome. Guys. Oh, look, they are cute, aren't they? They're cool. Hey, you told me. Second. Guys, we're going to sort these out. The farmer sent me a message to show me exactly where these cows and calves are to go back to. And to be honest, I can't remember what the message looked like. So I need to hang up on this live, go and check out what his message looked like, and put these cows and calves back in the field. So from me and from Craig, it's been very emotional. Set your alarms for 3 p.m. tomorrow. Set your alarms for 3 p.m. tomorrow, Central Standard Time for the merch launch, which is 8 p.m. in the UK. Everywhere else, Google it and you'll find out. 8 p.m. in the UK, just transfer it to yours. Thanks very much, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. How do I stop this without looking weird? Oh, I'll press this. Cool. Bye-bye.